What's up guys? Peter Von Dandy here. Hey, just bought myself a new monitor. I've used the same old 27 inch monitor for years. And so I thought it'd be uh, a good time to, to upgrade to a slightly larger monitor. This one's by Scepter. It's 32 inches. It's also curved. And the reason I got this was because for about 230 bucks, uh, it seemed like a 32 inch monitor uh, at that price point is a pretty good deal. And then to find this one, which was also curved, seem like a really good deal. Now, as we go ahead and unbox it, I, I should probably just tell you that in general, I'm not a big fan of curved screens as they relate to TVs, but I am a huge fan of curved monitors because you're usually only using them by yourself, you know, whereas a curved screen, like on a TV, uh, favors a single viewer. It does not favor pe multiple people, especially people sitting at different angles from the TV. It actually could cut it off. Um, and so the other thing that I really like is that the idea of a curved monitor is certainly a little bit more immersive. It kind of gives you a better experience, especially where things are on the periphery on the edges of the screen, where they might be kind of angled away from you. And so we'll take a look at that. So in the bag you get uh, a scepter, <laughs> uh, Phillips head screwdriver, a little one there, so that's kind of cool. You get a standard VGA cable. You also get an HDMI cord. That's pretty nice. You get one Phillips head screw. I assume that's for mounting the stand to the TV. And then you get your instruction booklet. And then we have also the stand is a little separated and here it is it's kind of like a metal oval and it's like painted but it's got some pretty nice heft to it and then we have the monitor itself here and the whole thing is actually really quite light I'm actually pretty surprised because it has the arm for the mounting kind of sticking out from the back here and here it is and it has scepter on the back here it's obviously upside down uh, much thinner display up here most of the um, the the mass and the bulk is on the the bottom there and a silver metallic bezel all the way around um, as you can see here it might be a little tough but you can definitely see that this thing is curved and if that's the bottom if we look at the top here too you can see here that the top is curved as well. And so I think that looks pretty cool. Now, the one thing that I was a little curious about is I actually think the bottom portion is curved maybe more than the top portion, which is okay, but I wasn't sure if that's truly the case. Now, to put this base on, there's a little uh, raised portion on the base right there with the, the screw hole. And then on the bottom of the post, there is a, a recessed area where it's going to fit into and then a screw, the threaded screw portion there. So you're just going to put it in there, I believe, just like this. Use the one screw that's included and the Phillips head screwdriver that's included and you should be ready to rock. So All right, so I got it set up. You also have to find your DC power cord. Uh, this was kind of more buried in the box, so don't forget that that's there too. Um, and so here's the monitor. So I'm pretty impressed with it right off the bat. I mean, I think it looks good. It's obviously curved. And as we were talking about uh, before, um, I do think the bottom, might be a little hard to see here, is slightly more curved than the top. And that's actually all right because ideally, if your eyeballs were the center of a sphere, the walls of the sphere would kind of be monitors, you know, so that that way every point on the display would be equidistant from your eyeballs. And so as you're sitting up, usually up here and kind of looking down, the things on the bottom would need to be a little more angled up as opposed to the things up here, which would kind of be even with your eyes. So it's actually not bad that it's more curved on the bottom. Now the other thing that I'll say is that usually the curves on all these curved monitors that I've seen are pretty gentle. Um, they're kind of measured based on a on a radius and usually what it means is that if you were to put all these monitors side by side just like this you know the circle would actually be very very large you know so the tighter it is usually the better off it is for you. 
Now, let's just take a quick tour of the monitor itself. And, uh, you know, like I said, a cast metal base here, some sort of uh, metal. The paint on the bezel is the same on the base, so that's kind of is nice that it matches there. And it's pretty thin. It's a pretty thin bezel all the way around. But it's slightly, uh, you know, it's like a millimeter above the screen. And, I don't know, it's like silverish, purplish, kind of. So, I'm going to take that for what it's worth. And then on the back, like I said, it says Scepter on there. We have kind of this uh, plastic backing up here. But then down here is where it looks like all the electronics are really built in. Uh, it's a much thicker piece of material. You've got your stand right here. And then here's where you have all your inputs. HDMI, DP, VGA, audio in, audio out, and then your power jack right there. Um, looks like there are some screws here. Not sure if that's, I think those are for, if you were to wall mount this bad boy. Um, this little plastic thing comes off, so I think you could take those, the screws out and take the foot stand completely off if you wanted to mount this to your wall. And then this just kind of presses on you. You probably won't see that much. But uh, that's how it goes on and off. Then you have your buttons over here. Up, down, power down here. And now I've also heard from some comments, Chers, that you do want to go in and change the standard settings on the monitor. That uh, I don't know if it's on Eco Power or something like that, but you actually want to go in and kind of change it for brightness and sharpness and you get a better experience. Now, if you're buying one of these monitors, one of the things that you're going to want to know is, is it going to fit the space that I have available for it? And I use a desk with the, the monitor area framed in, so I'm going to tell you exactly real world what this comes out to. So if I were to measure it from the, the bottom of the base to the top, it's exactly 19 inches high. If I were to measure it side to side from edge to edge, on the front here, a little under 28 and a half. It's actually 28 and 3 eighths inches across. Um, in terms of the thickness front to back, this is gonna vary a little bit, but I can tell you that the base, the foot, uh, is eight inches from front to back. And so the monitor is kind of floating in the middle of it. These front corners, the curved ends, look like they kind of come out pretty close to the front of that foot maybe about an inch back from the front, but then the base actually sticks out from the back of the monitor by a couple of inches here. So uh, just keep that in mind if you wanted to try to fit this into your spot on your desk, That's those are the dimensions that it's gonna displace. But I thought we would just kind of compare it to the standard 27 inch flat monitor that I'm using right now. Now what I wanted to show you here is I've got a couple of windows open. This is a 27 inch monitor. Um, I've had it for a long time. It's pretty standard. It's obviously flat. And a couple of things that I want to show you is if I'm sitting center here and I put down a video down in the corner, um, you know, while I kind of press myself up to the video or to the monitor and I look down at the video, it's kind of angled away from me. That's kind of the, the drawback of a flat monitor. And while it's not a problem if I'm not really focusing on this video, if I'm watching a, uh, you know, a movie or something or a TV show kind of in the corner is just a kind of entertain me while I'm doing other work, not a big deal, but if I'm really trying to focus on it, what you're getting is kind of this off angle view uh, of the video. And so what you kind of naturally want to do is a little bit of like rubber necking to get it down there to frame it directly in front of you. Um, it's more pronounced when I look over here at a document. If I've got something over here that I'm copying, copy and pasting from or something like that, or even trying to read while I'm comparing it to something else, you can see here that my angle to it, you know, with the camera here right on my face, it's kind of faced away. It's almost like you're looking over the shoulder of a person sitting in a chair next to you at their iPad or computer screen. And so it's just, while it's use, useful, um, and while it doesn't preclude me from actually um, being productive with it. It's just, a, again, a little bit of a thing where you're kind of finding yourself shifting over to get it really focused. And for those of you who use flat monitors, you may find yourself dragging these things to get right in front of you a lot, just like I normally do. Even though, you know, from a productivity standpoint, it probably doesn't matter if it's there. Now, I don't expect these things to be solved perfectly by uh, a curved monitor, but I do expect some improvement. So let's find out. All right, so first of all, Again, as I was moving it from my old monster 27 inch monitor right here to the new one, uh, this monitor is way 
lighter. It's and it's it's much thinner. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that's the uh, new technology and LED and all that, but um, it's gonna it's kind of a, I'm able to push it much further back, closer to the wall, those types of things. I think it looks great. It's obviously curved. You can see that. Um, I think in just in terms of sitting here and looking at it, and if we were to go ahead and do this little trick again and move this video down here, and if I were to play that, you know, I absolutely, if you know, this is again the spot where I'm sitting, I look down at that, it's certainly canted more tor towards me, and so it doesn't feel like it's off center or kind of uh, at a viewing angle that's more conducive to someone sitting next to me. I mean, it's really pretty cool. You know, I don't have that natural instinct to have to pull it to the middle to get a good look at it. If I move it over here again, um, it's kind of pointed towards me. Now again, that curve might be a little less pronounced up at the top, and it's obviously angled a little bit. So, but even here, even though it's not tilted down towards me as much, uh, I really think that with it, the curve is so much more noticeable uh, on a computer monitor than it is on a TV, and it's kind of really worth it. So I just got the monitor set up here and one of the things that I did want to show you is that uh, the presets here are on Eco and one of the probably my criticisms are that it's a little hard to see where the, the buttons are you really have to feel for them but I just kind of want to show you as I as I switch off the Eco here to some of the other settings I definitely think there are some better settings for most folks here. Um, you can see there it goes from like RTS, FPS, user uh, eco. I think eco is actually the yellowest and the darkest, which would make some sense. But, you know, if I were to say, like, my preference would be this RTS setting, whereas the brightness is 55, backlights at 80, um, this FPS setting, which I'm, so, which to me, I think RTS is like real-time strategy, FPS is like first-person shooter. Um, so I don't know if that's really what it means, but you know, if I were to say if I preferred one over the other, I'd probably say this RTS setting is my favorite. So I'm just going to leave it there for now. Now, the last thing I will say about this Scepter is that, again, for $200, I was looking at, you know, 32-inch uh, LED monitors as, you know, as an upgrade to what I was using from the 27 just to kind of get some more real estate. Um, and 200 bucks seemed like a pretty fair price and actually was on the kind of the low end now You don't get maybe the refresh rates and uh, the pixel density that you do on some other higher-end things, but um, you know for most day-to-day -day, uh, Kind of business application users. I think it's gonna be perfect the fact that I could get this for 229 that had the curve on top of it uh, I just thought was a pretty incredible deal. So for this scepter 32 inch curved uh, monitor. I'm really impressed with it and I think it's a it's a good deal. Peter Von Panda out.